Hi, this is JP from Not Allowed Over Arkham. Welcome to another blind playthrough of the Parallel Investigator Challenge scenarios. This time we are playing Parallel Agnes Baker and the scenarios Bad Blood. Uh, Agnes usually is an investigator you want to play events and then do extra damage by taking a horror. Or, or deal extra damage when you take a horror, and many of the mystic spells deal you horror, but uh, parallel Agnes is a bit different. Uh, first of all, you have a lot of more health, and uh, you have a smaller deck size, and uh, you can't deal extra damage with the horror, but you can reoccur your events into your deck uh, if you when you play an event, uh, you can take a damage and put that event into your deck. So, uh, before we uh, look what the scenario is all about, let's look at Agnes' deck first. So, we are over on ArkhamDB.com and here is the Agnes Baker in Bad Blood deck I built. Um, I decided to go a bit of a different route with Agnes. Uh, first of all, I have the Cyclopean Hammer. In the deck, so uh, this hammer lets you fight with your willpower, which is a really high with Agnes. So it's a five base, and uh, for example, if we get a Dave Renfield into play, we are at willpower six. This is a really powerful two weapon, uh, two hand weapon. So uh, I also decided to try out the enhanced enchant weapon uh, event. So this is a spell, so it doesn't really synergize with Agnes. Agnes just can't take it, because it's a spell card and level 3. So uh, we want to put this onto the Cyclopean Hammer, so it will be a really hard-hitting weapon then, and Agnes can hit, it, hit with it really easily with the willpower. Uh, then, of course, I wanted to try this new spell from the Edge of the Earth, so we have the Band of Tongna uh, spell, which takes an arcane slot, and but this also uses willpower, so it's really good for Agnes, and it has uh, nine charges, so you can spend as many charges as you need uh, to uh, deal enough damage to defeat an enemy. Uh, for investigating, we have uh, clairvoyance. I really like this one over the Right of Sea Kings and stuff like that, but we'll see. Uh, then we have Sixth Sense. Of course, it's a staple investigative uh, spell for mystics. Uh, to have some healing in the deck, we have Hallowed Mirror, and the spells that come with the Hallowed Mir Mirror really synergize well with Agnes. So they will. You can take damage, heal a damage, and another damage or horror, and uh, uh, shuffle the spell into your deck once you've used it. Uh, then, uh, as I said, we have David Grenfield, which will boost our willpower. I added one familiar spirit because we are a bit tight with the arcane slots, and I don't have hand slots to have um, sign magics, so I decided to add this if we want to get rid of David Grenfield, for example, and get an extra arcane slot, so this, this could be useful. Uh, then, uh, I, I'm really grown to like these new resource talents that came in the edge of the earth. So we have Prophetic, which will uh, help us play uh, Fortune, Spirit and uh, Spell, uh, or Fortune, Spell and Spirit cards and also boost those cards if we uh, use this. So uh, we can use the resource on this to play those events, etc. Uh, then we have, of course, the staple Drawn to the Flame. This isn't a spell, but it is a really good investigative event. Uh, and the Enchanted Weapon I talked about, Read the Signs, is a spell, so this can combo with Agnes' new ability. Uh, then we have Spectra Razor, just in case if we don't have the Cyclopean Hammer or the uh, Brand of Ktunka in play we can Spectra Razor if we get it, and if we need to AOE something, we have one Storm of Spirits in the deck. 
and of course lastly we have the <coughs> trusty ward of protection uh, ward of protection so that if we hit a really nasty weakness we can get rid of that without dealing with it and our basic weaknesses so we have four because this is a 39 experience deck uh, we have the devil <laughs> this is really annoying if we haven't set up our uh, assets yet but otherwise uh, it's not that big of a deal but still i don't want to see it in my opening hand uh, then we have a tukophobia so if we fail a skill test we take horror which we don't want to do so i think we have to get rid of this fast uh, then we have panic so this is one of the newer cards from the edge of the earth and this is hard to get rid of uh, if we don't find our hallowed mirror so hope, hopefully we, we have some healing so hopefully we can if we hit the panic we can get rid of it and lastly we have the psychosis uh, which is uh, from the core set and uh, it, it is annoying so that is the deck so let's see i am really focusing on fighting and uh, getting clues so no big uh, evasion evasive events or stuff like that in the deck so let's hop back over to the scenario so we have set up the scenario uh, this uses the map from the uh, threads of fate scenario from the uh, forgotten age campaign uh, we have set it up uh, the setup instructs us to put one of the uh, uh, locations behind the act cards into play at random and we drew the Estli exhibit so we have Estli ex exhibit in play and that is because it's revealed because the other side is the agenda then um, these uh, flow tokens actually represent the memories we are trying to gather so the goal of this scenario is to gather the uh, memories faster than uh, Elspeth so this is the ba main body of the scenario, uh, Elspeth Baudin. So uh, it is a really tough fight. Eight fight, uh, four health per investigator, eight evade. So alert, patrol, nearest location with at least one memory, retaliate. Elspeth Baudin can be automatically evaded and gets minus one fight and minus one evade for each memory she has collected. Uh, forced when Elspeth Bodin would be defeated, instead heal all damage from her, flip her over and resolve the text on her other side. And I actually haven't even looked at the other side and it is a while that I've seen this uh, scenario being played so I can't remember what happens there. But yeah, uh, the agenda says forced at the end of the enemy phase if Elspeth Bodin is ready and there is a memory at her location. Reveal a random token from the Chaos Bag and place it on that location. Forced, if there are one or more Chaos Tokens on a location without a memory, return them to the Chaos Bag. Forced, if there are uh, Chaos Tokens on the location with a memory that have combined value of 6 or more, ignoring plus and minuses and treating each autofail and Elder Sign token as a minus 6, uh, return them to the bag and Elspeth Borden collects that memory. So once we get um, too many chaos tokens on a location, uh, we will uh, lose those memories to Elspeth. Uh, let's just reread this. So. so yeah, we add them to the location where Elspeth is. And uh, walk down memory lane. Uh, fast to the ability, investigators at Agnes Baker's location spend two clues per investigator as a group. Agnes Baker collects that memory at her location. Forced, if Agnes Baker is defeated, proceed to re resolution 2. Objective, collect more memories than Elspeth if all nine memories have been collected by other party advance. So we are racing to collect at least five memories before El Elspeth gets five so that we win the scenario. If that doesn't happen, we lose the scenario, basically. But that is all I wanted to say, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So, uh, first off, we'll draw our opening hand. 
hoping to see something good so we uh, reshuffle that well <laughs> we got the hammer so I'm definitely keeping the hammer I'm keeping the Renfield I'm keeping these and uh, the brand of Tunga we can shuffle back into our deck and this weakness also oh yeah um, before that we should have drawn one more card so well we got the second Cyclopean hammer so yeah I think <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I didn't mess up the mulligan but of course I started to shuffle before I drew the next extra ha card but it is what it is and it's a random card off the top of the deck so it doesn't matter I didn't know what the uh, card on the top was okay well at least we have a weapon but uh, first let's see uh, we want to play David Renfield start generating resources let's see so triple action you kill some time and at the diner and listen to the conversation of the patrons around you gain one uh, two clues from the token pool so we could do that get this clue and start going but or uh, get this memory yeah but I think I won't do that so I will play David Renfield I'll immediately put a resource on it on him and exhaust generate a resource then I will take a resource and I will play the Cyclopean Hammer. So, to refresh what this does is uh, fight, add your willpower to your skill value for this attack. You deal plus one damage for this attack. If you succeed at the, and the enemy is non-elite, you may move it one location away from it. If you succeed by three or more, you will be instead deal plus two damage and may move to the enemy up two locations away from you so <laughs> we can basically hit those enemies away if they survive the hit but that is it so that was our whole first turn nothing big happening so we ready up no actually before that we go to the uh, enemy phase but I have to check at the end of the enemy phase yeah so uh, Elspeth, ha we go to the enemy's face, so Elspeth doesn't have, well, she has a, a patrol, but patrol is that uh, she moves to the location nearest with a memory on it, but the, uh, she's already on that kind of location, so nothing happens. Uh, at the end of the enemy phase, we reveal one token. It is a tablet and tablet is a minus three so that location is a three so if it gets three uh, three more so six uh, Elspeth collects that memory and uh, that is basically it we ready up we oh yeah uh, we spent uh, resources for the hammer so we draw a card we get the hello mirror and we gain one resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add one Doom to the agenda, so we have two because Renfield has also one. So two of eight, Encounter card is Acolyte, so now we have a three of one. So I think I'm putting the Acolyte to East turn so we can kill it next round with the hammer. So marking it over here. But this turn... Uh, basically just want to do the triple action to get two clues spend those clues and grab this memory so we have one memory collected and that is our whole turn Elspeth doesn't do anything uh, this guy doesn't do anything so at the end of the enemy pay oh yeah before that we will exhaust Renfield to generate one resource and then we ready up oh yeah and uh, we have to reveal the chaos token it is a minus one, so Elspeth doesn't collect the memory yet. Then we draw a card, uh, Brand of Toga, 
and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so we are at four of eight. And uh, let's see. Yeah, so four of eight. Encounter card is another acolyte, so we are not getting lucky with this because they, these get, uh, get generate um, doom. So we need to start and deal with these as fast as possible so we don't run out of time. So that was the encounter phase. So investigation phase. Uh, first action will move to East Town. East Town is a two shroud location with one crew. And uh, this enemy engages us. Second action we will hit with the hammer. So we are hitting uh, five versus three. And uh, do we want to commit anything? So we need to commit willpower for the test. Um, I think just to be sure that we kill this guy, we'll commit the other Cyclopean Hammer. Uh, minus two, so we easily defeat this enemy, so it is pulverized. At least we got rid of one Doom. Uh, last action, I will investigate. And I'm investigating two versus... Uh, we don't have uh, yeah two versus two uh, before that I'll generate a resource with Renfield so two versus two we are really hoping to grab this clue by just being lucky well a zero we'll grab the clue it is not enough to grab another memory we, we need two clues to grab memories but that is our turn uh, enemy actions, nothing happens. Uh, we will grab another uh, token from the Chaos Pack. Minus two. So now this is six. So uh, this will return to the back. This goes to Elspeth. Uh, so I'll put them over here. And uh, that is the enemy phase. So we ready up. We draw a card, a prophetic, and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had another Doom. So we are at 4 of 8 encounter cards for this turn. Is a secret must be kept. Test will power 3. If you fail, take 1 damage and 1 horror. For each act deck, the investigators have completed this test case plus 1 difficulty. Well, we haven't done any of that, so it is a uh, test of uh, five, six versus three. It is an elder sign. <laughs> oh no, it is elder thing. Uh, we can take damage to increase our skill size by two, so we'll take two. So let's count. Uh, so we are at zero. So we take two damage. And uh, we are up enough to counter this. So we don't fail this. So we don't take one damage and one horror, but uh, that's okay. Just don't want to fail that for some reason. So. Uh, We'll go to the investigation phase, so first action I will uh, play Prophetic. So it gains two resources on it. Then uh, we'll move to River Town. It has one clue. And uh, we will fight the Acolyte with our last action. So, uh, fighting six versus 
3. It is a 0, so we pulverize this um, cultist also. Uh, okay. Uh, that is everything we can do. So we go to the enemy phase. So uh, Elspeth patrols over here. Nothing else happens. We will reveal a token from the Chaos Bag. Uh, it is a minus two, so Elspeth doesn't collect a memory yet. Then we ready. Oh no, uh, I'll exhaust David Renfield at the some point of this <laughs> turn. Then we ready up. We draw a card. We get psychosis, and we. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to draw another card. So we just shuffle because I saw what it was. So. So we, yeah, we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So we are at four of eight, uh, five of eight. Encounter card is nobody's home at that your location. If there are no clues, no one, uh, nobody's home can search. So this just goes away basically because it goes away at the end of. Oh no, there's a clue here. Okay, so, so we must spend an additional action to investigate here. Well, um, I know from memory that Miskatonic University has two clues on it, so we want to draw onto the flame there. And we'll actually um, take a horror, pay one, and take one damage. Shuffle this back into our deck. So now, even though I saw what the card on the top of the deck was uh, at the previous turn, we would have shuffled. So it would be a different card. Okay, and we ignore this because we really don't want to spend too many actions here. Uh, we will uh, first action, investigate. I will investigate two versus one. And it is a skull. And skull is X. X is the number of memories Agnes Baker has collected. So it's one. So we succeed. We'll immediately use this to grab this memory. Then second action, we'll move to Miskatonic University. And it has two clues, and we will immediately, uh, on a, for our last action, we will. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. If you take one or more horror, take one direct damage, and this should be ready. And we'll actually use Renfield, so we would have take one damage. We have taken four damage. Okay, I think now we're correct. And last action will <coughs> draw onto the flame. So we draw an encounter card, and this secret must be kept. I think we can deal with that. So I am testing six versus. So it is another skull, so minus two, we pass, and that is it. We grab these clues, and we'll use them to grab this uh, memory. And, well, this is not a spell, so we can shuffle it. Actually, I'm just double-checking, because now I'm... Yeah, uh, I was just checking that the Word of Protection is a spell. I usually... <coughs> Remember it is, but I wasn't sure, and I didn't check while I was doing Agnes Baker's ability, so, yeah. So we have three, Elspeth has one. Um, I think next we need to find a way to uh, get a investigative spell into play, so we can start getting more clues, but we'll see how that goes. And also, I could have used one resource from here, so I do that uh, retrospectively. Well, 
well, let's not back up that much. Okay, so, uh, enemy phase, uh, nothing happens, we will reveal a token. Zero. So, uh, Elspeth doesn't collect a memory, we are ready up. We draw a card. <laughs> Atucophobia, so the weaknesses are piling up, which is not nice. But yeah, that it is what it is, but we can at least now uh, defeat Renfield with some horror if we hit something. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, we are at 5, 6, Doom of 8, Encounter Cardis, a Brotherhood Cultist. When you initiate an attack against brother who calls place one doom on it. Okay, well, this enemy. Uh, uh, he engages us. Luckily, we have a, uh, ways to fight against it. So, uh, first action, we will actually. Let's think. Uh, first action, we will add a Doom to Renfield, Exhaust Renfield, and take two resources. I think we are set with resources. Uh, so, how do we want to do this? We are fighting uh, five. Yeah, I think we'll move here, just so this guy deals us a horror. We unfortunately also take a direct damage. But Renfield is defeated, so we get rid of some of the doom. Then this guy, uh, will we will have to kill it. So, second action, we will hit it. It takes a doom, so it's a three fight now. So we're fighting five versus three. So I'm committing this uh, brand to the test. So we are six versus three. It is a skull, so we just hit it. And uh, let's see. We didn't succeed by three or more, so we just push this enemy to this location. It takes two damage. Isn't defeated. But at least it's not engaged with us, so now we can uh, last action play uh, Hallowed Mirror. So uh, we get one soothing melody into hand and we'll shuffle two of these into the deck and these are spells so they synergize with Agnes's ability now we at least can uh, next turn start healing some of the damage and we'll just have to wait for something to be able to do something. I don't think we can investigate, so maybe we are drawing cards next year, but we'll see. So, enemy phase. Um, so, <laughs> I have to check. So, okay, so it doesn't. Exhaust, so this guy just actually uh, hunts here and hits us for one horror. So we take another um, damage. That's not nice. Well, it is what it is. So uh, we'll at the end of the enemy phase we reveal another token. So four or more. Elspeth gets that. So it's a minus three. 
So still we are waiting for Elspeth to get another memory. But that is everything we ready up. We draw a card. Uh, read the signs. This is perfect for next turn. And then we gain our source. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom. We are at 6 7 of 8. Encounter card for this turn is. Please don't be an enemy. Uh, secret must be kept again. We are just testing this uh, 5 versus 3. Minus 1, we pass. Nothing happens. First action, I think we have to hit this guy. So we add a doom. We are fighting uh, four versus uh, five versus four. I don't think I want to commit anything to this test. So just uh, there are a bunch of minus ones, uh, zeros, and an elder sign. So let's see. It is a minus one. So we defeat this guy. Uh, then second action. Mm, we will use these resources. Uh, we'll play ready. Uh, read the signs. I think I don't want to take a damage. Yeah. Okay, so we are investigating 7 versus 3. Minus 3. We succeed and we grab these two clues. We'll spend them to grab this memory. We are one away from winning the scenario, but the last one will be a bit harder because now we don't have to double back and uh, get two clues some from somewhere. Last action, we will uh, play this to heal two damage. We won't reoccur it. Uh, we have to get rid of these before that. Okay, so now we'll go to the enemy phase. Elspeth doesn't do anything. Uh, we'll go to the end of the enemy phase. We will deal a token, a minus one, so uh, three, so now it's six. So, just checking. Yeah, it's an immediate effect. So, Elspeth gets this memory. So, uh, we have four, we need one more, Elspeth needs three more, so we have to some way get one more memory to win the scenario. But uh, that was the enemy phase, we'll go to the upkeep phase, we draw another, read the signs, perfect. Now we just need to find a location with two clues on it. And uh, we gain a resource, and also uh, the prophetic gains two resources. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so we are at seven of seven of eight. Encounter card for this turn is conspiracy of blood. Uh, attach agenda gets minus one threshold. Uh, each cultist enemy gains parlay test will part four. If you succeed, discard one copy of Conspiracy of Blood from play. If you fail, place one doom on this enemy. Or oh, on on yeah. yeah. Okay. So we attach this here. So now it has uh, only a seven threshold, but well, we can't do anything about that now. We'll go to the uh, Investigation phase. I really don't know what to do here. So Elfred will move to downtown. That's for sure. Um, I think we'll get rid of 
uh, psychosis and move to Miskatonic University. There's basically nothing else we can do at this point. Then uh, enemy phase, Elspeth hunts here. So I think we'll go search for clues here and try to get there if uh, this doesn't end uh, the game. But we'll see. Uh, enemy phase, uh, nothing happens. Yeah, so Elspeth moved there. Uh, we reveal a token at the end of the enemy phase. It is a minus two. And then we ready up, draw a card, sixth sense, and we gain a resource. So that is that turn. Let's see if the game ends on the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, so this agenda advances. This goes away. Okay, let's see what happens. So, out for blood. Elspeth Bordin attacks each investigator in a player order regardless of their current location, if, uh, even if she is exhausted. And flip this agenda back over. So, um, Elspeth deals 2 damage and 2 horror, so not liking this that much. Uh, we are at 6 damage, but at least we have time now to uh, get those clues and go grab the fifth memory and also we take two or so I'm chasing this no. Okay, so we have two health and two horror remaining which Isn't that much And this flips back over we get an encounter card false lead this can search because we don't have any clues. Lock door. Attached location with the most clues. There are none, so we'll just lock the exhibit. exhibit. And that is the mythos phase. So investigation phase. We'll move to north side. There are two clues. And we can also do this action here, which is, we'll spend five resources. Uh, actually, no, we want the victory point. So uh, we'll spend these two from uh, the prophetic to play read the signs for our second action. It is an elder sign. Uh, plus one, you may heal uh, one damage. That is really good news. And I won't shuffle this because we don't need any more clues. And uh, yeah, we have two clues. Last action, we'll move to Miskatonic University and we'll head there next round, get the last clue and win the scenario. But that is the investigation phase, enemy phase, nothing happens. Uh, we reveal another token uh, for Elspeth at the end, and it is a minus six. So this return, Elspeth gains one memory, and that is it. So that is that round. We ready up, uh, draw a card, enchanted weapon, and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, one of eight encounter card is conspiracy sea of blood, so we'll just add it there. Uh, first two actions will move, move, and past action will collect the fifth memory. So we have five, Elspeth has three, so uh, the scenario actually doesn't end here. But we can we can just wait for Elspeth to gain the last one. Yeah. But yeah, this wasn't the last turn, but whatever. Last action, uh, we will just move away from Elspeth. We don't need any more. And yeah, 
we have time because Elspeth won't hit us. So that is our uh, turn. We go to the enemy phase, Elspeth uh, patrols to the town hall. Uh, we, re we reveal a chaos token at the end of the round. It is a minus three. We'll place it on there. Then uh, we will ready up, draw a card, ward of protection, and gain a resource. So, and this replenishes. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh, yeah, and this has been used. So, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, encounter Cardis, Mysterious Chanting. Uh, Elspeth is not a cultist, so we search for a cultist and put it into play. Mm -hmm. Let's get an acolyte. And we'll deal with that. Acolyte comes into play and we'll put it. We'll put it in the Miskatonic University. Okay, and uh, so we'll just play this, then uh, so we have a enchanted Cyclopean hammer. Second action will move here. Last action will hit. I'll commit. I won't commit anything. So we are. We are hitting five versus three. Uh, minus two, that is enough. We deal three damage. This is defeated. Uh, we'll ready. No, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Elspeth doesn't hunt. Uh, we'll see if the, uh, she collects the last memory. Minus four, so the game ends. Uh, Elspeth gets the last memory. And uh, that means we will advance this. So collect more memories than Elspeth if all nine memories have been collected by the party advance. If Agnes collected more me memories than Elspeth, we go to resolution 1. Okay. So, uh, resolution 1. It would be so simple. You could end here right now, prevent her from me menacing others with her powers. But then, would you be any different? You lower your hand and the magic disperses into the cold air. Why, she asks. Her voice cracked with pain, you shake your head and tell her that she is wrong. True power is the ability to make peace, not the ability to wage war. Fool, she barks, clambering on uh, to her feet. You are a weakling, after all, and you will regret letting me live. You watch her assemble off with only fragments of her former life in her head. Her powers are considerably, considerably drained, but she still possesses a problem. Perhaps you should have dealt with her, as she said. Still, you breathe a sigh of relief. You don't uh, want this power to change who you are. You won't let yourself become like her, no matter what. So, Agnes Baker earns experience equal to either the combined Victor X value of each card in the victory display, or equal to the number of memories she had collected at the end of the game, whichever is higher. So, we have five memories, and we have uh, two victory point, uh, three victory point locations, so we get five experience. Each other investigator only earns, e earns experience equal to the combined victory x value of each card in the victory display, so that would be three. Uh, then Agnes Baker may either upgrade her room of Hyperborea to its advanced version or downgrade the advanced version of Dark Memory of its, to its original version. So uh, we had the advanced version, so we would downgrade the weakness. But that is the um, bad blood scenario with parallel Agnes Baker. 
<laughs> I really enjoyed this deck. It is fun uh, for once melee attack with a hammer with Agnes Baker rather than spe uh, throw spells all around. So that was a bit different. Uh, Agnes plays a bit different as a parallel investigator for sure. Uh, this scenario was quite fun for me at least. I, I think I got lucky because I was scared up to kill enemies from the get-go and uh, I think the first three rounds I threw only enemies so that was easy uh, to resolve those for me. But hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.